Hello and welcome to another edition of Data Center Pulse. Today we're going to be talking about the stack, or the framework, that we believe needs to be developed to address the entire data center challenge. And joining me is Jeremy Rodriguez. And Jeremy is one of the uh, founding members of Data Center Pulse. He's been here from the beginning. Absolutely. So welcome to the show. Thanks, Dave. And uh, do you want to tell us uh, the two roles that you're filling right now? Sure. I'm filling the role uh, on the technical advisory board running the development of the stack framework uh, for Data Center Pulse. So, so you're the co-chair of the actual advisory board. Correct. But then you're actually responsible for the development of the stack, which is one of the things that would go through the board. Correct? correct. Okay, great. And so um, we're going to be talking about the different components and why this is even important to us. Um, I, I would say that in February of 2009, we had the summit, and Jeremy, with a, another member, was actually running the cloud piece. The cloud summit piece, and that's where yeah. the stack all started. Yeah. Um, during the cloud technology um, track, we realized that we needed a common framework to understand data centers um, so we can talk about them as right. peers and equals. And the stack was actually brought in by one of the major financial companies that participates in, in, uh, in Data Center Pulse. That's right. Right. And so when they brought it up, we all kind of had that epiphany at the same time. It was we, we went, aha, and so that <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Yeah, um, this describes a lot of things that we, as individuals in our organizations, have a challenge with. Because all of us were approaching all these different components. So whether it was the power, or whether it was the networking, or whether it was the storage, whether it was the power and cooling, all of them tie together at some point. And the stack really made it clear that there are associations, connections that make sense. So we need to develop that whole picture, that framework, so we can address all those different layers. So the first problem we, we think about when we when we look at the stack and what we're trying to do with it mm -hmm. is where is it and what feeds it? Um, mm -hmm. Those are two things that are extremely important to the data center, um, and whether you're in the data center site selection or you're just operating in the data center, they, yeah. they change your world, those two questions. Yeah, and just to kind of give you the basics, we're looking at a score in, then what you do with it inside, and a score out. Very simple. Mm -hmm. So the carbon score in is one that's common across everybody. You've got power from somewhere. Whether you're generating it yourself, and most people are actually getting it from a utility, you should be able to know how clean that power is. Then the decisions you make inside of that data center are the other building blocks. Right? right? How, how is that data center designed, and what does it do? Right. Um, and then you get your score Two big off. questions. Um, big yeah. questions, and you see these questions being asked by many other groups outside mm -hmm. in the industry, your, your peers, your data center organizations. Um, in different ways, and we really don't have a common way to do that yet, and right. that's what the framework is trying to establish. Yeah, so if you look at it, the way you do mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, how the data center is designed, right? How it's designed uh, will tell you how efficient you're going to run, physically. Right. And the metric for that one, PUE, DA, DCIE, whatever you want, the key being that how it's put together and how well, how much power goes to your actual system. You can systems. have your real estate metric, the PUE, you can yeah. have your server performance metric, or is the power going in actually producing a lot of uh, useful work, um, to use a green grid term, right. um, or is it doing everything you, you need it to do? Um, and, and cooling we, systems, how efficient they are. And you know? we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. If you think about it, you just said the green grid, right? You look at the DCIE and PUE things, that was developed by other people. What we're saying is a metric has to be there. But the problem is people are coming up with hundreds of metrics. Right. So what we want to do is be able to say, this block will have this metric. Okay, so PUE seems to be pretty, pretty good for the physical environment, mm -hmm. but it's the above ones that are the most difficult. And that's why the green grid has the eight measurements of useful work. Right. What we want is that people are going to pick the metric that makes sense for their business. Yep. Okay, so that each block will have metrics associated with it to be able to have a score out. Right? That's absolutely correct. And when you look at uh, your high performance data center versus a normal business data center, yeah. uh, you'd have your baseline in. Uh, and your score out, and right. that would be your ability to compare to the, those two data centers together. Right, so the power in, then that score out really is the culmination of all those other metrics in the different blocks. So they will roll up into one top level metric. We do need a top level metric. Uh, about and, your data and I'm sick and tired of everybody saying, well, I have a tier one and tier four and whatever else, and I can't compare this. It's not apples to apples. The bottom line is, you're going to do a certain work inside of that room, you're going to use a certain amount of power. Okay, so if I've got a tier four data center, I've made a decision for my company that it's more important to put physical infrastructure together to make sure I don't have any failures. That doesn't mean you should get points for it. That means that the other side of it isn't as resilient, the applications, etc. If the applications are more resilient, you could build lower tier data centers. So we, the scoring will be worked out. 
The key is that we're going to measure it, and it's going to be consistent across all those different types of work and companies and functions. Consistent and holistic. What you just, yeah. you just mentioned is your application availability is taking place of your physical infrastructure availability. Exactly. And that's a struggle right now in the industry at large where yeah. you're relying upon software to do things that were in the past done by physical hardware. And if you think about it, the holy grail here really is that we can all have a common method of actually approaching our data center, the components in it, actually addressing them and then measuring them and reporting out for it. Everybody's trying to get to that, well, how efficient is my data center? The framework, the stack, the data center stack is enabling us to actually talk the same language. Right. And, and ultimately what we want is the, the governments around the world to be able to, to tap in and see what the data centers have, how efficient they are, and set goals against how, what efficiencies we should be all meeting. Right. So we want to get ahead of that wave and actually help them define how to measure Right, how to address the data center. We want to help them define that um, as a group of end users uh, right. within Data Center Pulse. Uh, very important to say, yeah. um, the framework is designed by end users. We talked right. about it in the summit mm -hmm. um, to bring it back to how, how it was created. Um, as end users, we want to use this, this framework to talk to the government and say, I want to be judged on this, right. this framework because I understand it as a company, as and, an individual. And I've actually accepted it as something I want to implement. Right. And Which, so. <laughs> the reverse being that here is a set of criteria we're going to measure you on. And as an end user, you might say, you know what, these don't apply to me. Right. So we've already got a number of companies that have signed up uh, to endorse the development of the stack itself. Right. And so you can go to the website that's listed here and see those companies. And if you're interested in this, of course, our end users, we want you to jump in, work with Jeremy on uh, trying to come up with the... Uh, that are refinement around the actual stack itself. Yeah, we're looking for critical feedback. We want to hear your opinion. We want you to help us develop the stack. Yeah. It's important to get involved, important to contribute. Um, uh, you can be a part of it, and when the government comes and asks you how your data center's uh, doing, you can answer the question rather than run around and try to, try to figure out something new every time. Yeah, and it's, it's healthy competition that comes out of this as well. I really want my peers to go back and say, my data center is more efficient than yours, because that will drive me to go make mine more efficient than theirs. And it will cause you to ask <laughs> the question, how is yours more yeah. efficient, and will you talk to me about it? Yeah, and the other part of it is that my execs up the chain will be able to see uh, a score. How well do I rate against the, the industry in my data center implementations, right? Because they can look at the costs all day, but then they can say, well, that's great. How efficient are we? Well, we're efficient. Okay, now we can rank and actually say how efficient we are against our peers and against the goals that the government will actually be putting out, I'm sure. Right. right. So what we're looking at now is, again, our end users, please join into the discussions on LinkedIn, jump on to datacenterpulse.org, look at the actual threads in there, uh, give feedback in to, to Jeremy. Uh, industry folks will be putting this back out. Um, watch the website for the dates of when it's going to be released. Uh, the paper itself that you can give input into there. right? Yep. But our ultimate goal in this effort is what? Is to get a framework that uh, the end user community agrees upon, uh, that's been reviewed by the industry, released out for public use. Uh, everybody's checked the boxes, said, mm -hmm. I agree, this is the one we need to do. Um, by the beginning of next year. So January 1st, 2010, we would like our end user base to start adopting and implementing this model. Okay, <laughs> great. Well, thank you very much, Jeremy, for joining the show. Uh, follow this link. You can see the actual uh, stack development there. All the information Jeremy will be posting up with his team. We're also looking for people to jump into sub-teams, correct? Absolutely. Yeah, if you're a, an area expert or you want to contribute, let us know. Uh, yes. We'll find a way for you to contribute and help. Follow this. Send an email to this actual uh, the, to this alias below, and uh, you get right to the people that actually can uh, can have you join in. All right, great. Thank you very much, Jeremy, for uh, for joining me on the show. Thanks, Appreciate it, and I'm sure you got a lot of work ahead of you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get rid of that day job so you can keep doing this. Um, and thank you again for watching another edition of the Data Center Pulse, and stay tuned for more episodes.